What's going on everyone, it's your Rifle here and thanks for checking out my video everyone. In this video I'm going over yet again another specific strike drop. The one that I'm going over in this video is specifically for the Sunless Cell Strike. It is possible to get a fusion rifle from the Dark Blade in case you guys didn't know. And as far as people have actually been telling me in previous comments on my previous videos, they actually had stated that you can get these strike specifics from the level 36 strikes. You don't have to necessarily be on a level 41. Thought I'd pass that information on to y'all, just in case you guys are wondering that. And yes, I do know about the Titan Helmet, but I'm not going over that in this video. I'm going to save that for another video for y'all. I'm actually creating a playlist of all the specific strike drops, which I'm pretty excited about finishing. So hopefully most of you start tagging along with this series I got going. It'll be nice. It'll be nice. We'll look at all these specific strike drops together. Oh yeah. Anyways, back to this fusion rifle. As you guys can see, it is titled Dark Blade Spite. Dun, dun, dun. Not gonna lie, I am digging the hive look on this fusion rifle, but this weapon does kind of seem like a ripoff of the Light of the Abyss. I mean, as you guys can see, it's pretty much the same gun, except a different color. Anyways, as you guys can see, for the description of this weapon, it reads, In the hive ways of old, he challenged orcs. He failed. From Eris Morn. This fusion rifle does have the potential to be an alright weapon. I, however, didn't get such great perks with mine, but instead of reading off all the perks that you can have on this, here's a screenshot of all the potential perks. As you guys can see, if you have the right RNG when you find this weapon, you do have a chance to have this weapon to be a pretty decent fusion rifle. I mean, the stats overall isn't too rough with this, but I wouldn't actually suggest this in the PvP world just because of the charge time that this weapon actually has. It doesn't have the greatest charge time. But I can actually see some potential use of this weapon in PvE, considering it can come in void, solar, and arc damage. As you guys can see though, I got my hands on the solar version. A fusion rifle I actually compared this to was the very rare Praetorium Foil from the Vault of Glass. They have pretty similar stats, but perk-wise, the Praetorium Foil of course kills it. I just thought it was pretty interesting how they did have very similar statistics and unfortunately as far as I see with the perks with the dark blade spite you can't get your hands on the reactive reload with this fusion rifle which sucks some big donkey but still but yeah guys there you have it that is an overview of the dark blade spite once again it is a fusion rifle that drops from of course dark blade that is my third time telling you guys that in this video I might have just overdid that, but hey, at least you get the point. I mean, of course, for the name of the fusion rifle, it gives it away. I have to say, though, pretty interesting to collect. I'm personally just a collector in general, so I'm definitely on the hunt for all these specific strike drops. Actually, now that I think about it, if you guys know of any besides Tanix and the Warlock helmet from the Saber, try jotting them down in the comments. It'll be much appreciated, and I'm sure the community would also love to know as well. But... I'm out of here, this has been your rifle, and if you could, please remember to leave a like on the video. It's greatly appreciated, everyone. Can we surpass 1,500 freaking likes for this Dark Blade Spite review, preview, and how to get pretty much? Oh, yes, can we get that number? That'll be nice. And as always, Guardians, remember to stay safe and don't sleep in pee. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.